2015 January reading with me. So I just want to take a moment in time to reflect on the fact that we have moved into 2015 or that we will be about to. I'm uploading this in December and I've contemplated for quite some time on, on how it is I've wanted to do the readings because I've sort of, I feel to myself that the the way we bring in the new year is quite potently important. It's the thoughts and feelings and actions that we have around the cusp of the new year that relay back a lot to us and how our year is going to move forward. So I feel it's extremely important to have the correct intention as you move into 2015. You know, and harness the thoughts such as success and get out there and create what it is you want. Dream big. Be the person that you're that you're wanting to be. Start your journey for 2015 with with some fire and enthusiasm because it's your year is shaped primarily by you, your thoughts and your actions. So I do honestly believe that old saying um, you know, when you see a New Year's Eve and you make New Year's resolutions, although most of us don't stick to our resolutions because we often make them too difficult to stick to, if you make your resolutions a little bit easier, uh, slightly smaller, you know, like small jumps one at a time, they're generally easier to uh, bring into your life and to focus on and to enjoy achieving. So this month we're going to be doing four cards the two cards, the first two cards are going to rep represent the first half of the month and the second two cards will represent the second half of the month. And then I'll do two little extra things at the end of the reading for you. So Sagittarius, let's see what turns up for your January 2015 reading. I get a feeling that there might be something to do with finances, so we could see some pentacle cards in here. Um, that was just a message that I received for you. So let's see, four cards, okay, strength, the devil, the two of pentacles, and the page of cups. So we did get a pentacles card there, so I will focus on that a little bit and uh, see what the message is there for finances. So Sagittarius, we start the... January off with two major arcana cards, both quite powerful in their own ways. And I noticed that the strength card, full of yellow, vibrant sunshine, so a positive card with the circle of eight or the cycle of life on the top of her head. And we're just starting this new vibration of eight for the year and the first month. So that's kind of resonating there for you. Um, the strength card is as I say, a major arcana card, so this is a quite deep nature, it'll be about your inner self and some sort of addressing that you're doing there. Now, the strength card can teach us to have patience, so this can be a card of, of waiting, of tolerance, of understanding, and of working situations through in a way that you... Um, don't manipulate the situation as such because even though she's taking the strength and control over the lion there's a feeling that you do it with calmness and with patience and you will have much more success if anything crops up early in January that requires your strength it's about the calm and the inner strength that you have and you are a really strong sign this, this, the Leo, the lion always reminds me of Leo, which is also a fire sign. So I feel the fire energy for you, and I feel that's where you are going to gain some of your strength. That just that burning core that we have as fire signs that we can call upon ourselves. We don't necessarily need other people so much to gain strength from. So I think that's another message. It's about you and your inner strength and your ability to sort things through. So know that you have strength and courage and faith in the beginning of January. Um, other issues or messages around this card can be if you're going through any health issues, you're going to have that strength to call upon and know that you can get through anything as well. So have again, have patience with the outcomes on this. Um, 
and just be calm about whatever direction it is that you're going to seek to take or uplift new health modalities, think it through. If there are any situations that arise with any arguments or people around you, it could even be another fire sign energy that perhaps creates this um, possible, not necessarily tension, but um, a need for you to put your foot down in an appropriate manner and just take control of the situation and make sure that it heralds itself through in the right way. It is quite a spiritual card. They, all the major arcana cards are relatively spiritual. It, and it is a time that suggests that you harness positive thoughts around you. So don't let any, as I say, fears or worries or anxieties spill over and take control or take the lead because you definitely have the ability to work anything through at the positive conjunction and win with powerful positive thoughts in most any situation that arises. Um, if you're in a committed relationship, it often shows balance and a appreciation from your partner. It's also a good time even for new love because you appear strong to people. You, you showing that fire sign strength and determination. So you may even attract new people in your life when you have this energetic vibration around you. Just moving a little bit further into January, we see the devil sign. And we often think of this as, um, you know, possible bondage or addictive type tendencies and sometimes when we've been through the festive season we can have overindulged a little bit so this card can often be uh, a signal to say let go of any bad habits you might have at the moment so especially in the new year you know when we talk about embracing um, new changes for the new year and setting goals and things like that it might be a prudent time to wipe out any bad habits like give up smoking or or knock back on drinking or get into more of an exercise regime and um, if you're obsessing about anything in your life whether it be people or or issues or um, directions that you particularly want to go in it it says bring more balance into this whole ideas that you might have at the moment. Balance your life out. So it's a card of requiring balance at some level. It even could be suggesting if you are in a relationship and there's not the right balance to take control of it. That's where this card may be coming in too. Actually put a little bit of your strength out there and make sure that you are being treated appropriately and fairly. It feels like you could be at the beginning of the month, but then if it becomes any unbalance or disharmony, stand up and make sure that you try and bring back balance again. Oh goodness, and then we come down here. This is the card of balance. And again, it's got the circle of eight. So you, you've got lots of balance going on for January, lots of bringing balance in, so needing to make sure you keep everything balanced at all levels I think for you Sagittarians and possibly your finances as well. I think of this card as a fairly positive financial card but it does show us that there are cycles of ups and downs in life and this is about juggling those cycles and this is the financial card. So it could be saying in January you know, sometimes we overspend, again, this overindulgence over the festive period can often end up in this situation where we have to juggle things to make the ends fit. So maybe your finances could be a little bit tight in January and you have to do a little bit of juggling, but it does work out okay. You've got the, you've got the goods to do it, you've got the strength and ability to do it. You hopefully are going to find that you anything that you may have purchased when you were out of control or having great fun is going to be rebalanced again in the latter part of January. So I do feel balance coming back in for you. Sometimes this card can also literally mean travel. I see the ships in the background and I sometimes think of a, of a trip somewhere and possibly by sea or possibly over sea. So there are indicators that travel might be in here for you in January as well. And if we come to this last card, the Page of Cups, the cups often deal with emotions, relationships, romance, and they can deal with younger people. So there could be someone young in your life that you pay attention to or their needs, or they may support you and your needs. And this could be a child or a sibling or a younger person in your work career or arena. 
or a bunch of friends or it could even be you you might be feeling youthful and energetic and happy and full of life at this level and the other thing about this cup uh, card is this cup is being held out to you with with a new energy something new coming in and a real it's a proposition almost so someone's almost going to suggest something to you towards the end of January possibly and sometimes it can be in the realm of romance or relationships or partnerships or new people coming in your life. So I think that's actually really nice reading there Sag Sagittarius. As I say a little bit of balance required up here. A call on your own fiery inner strength which you have Finances look okay, they will they could do with just a bit of a tune up and just make sure you're not overspending in one area. Uh, keep the wheels rolling, we're into the cycle of eight year, the financial year, the more manifestation money year, you've got two of them in your reading, you're pretty lucky. So now we'll just go on to the next part of the reading, which are these cards by Tony Celerino and their God, Goddesses and Angels. And they deal quite often with the emotional side of us that we perhaps don't address that often. So let's see what turns up. The Angel of Self-Worth. You are currently understanding yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. Sorry, you're currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. And I think these two cards really um, are tied into this somewhere in the message here for you. To call upon your strength and know that you have the strength there, that you have the goods to do it. You, have any, you, you're in, um, you are strong, you're inner strong. You have physical strength as well. And so if there's any of these feelings around you that you feel perhaps not strong enough know that you can get through and give yourself more credit and um, don't allow someone else to put you down or take you down at any time because you are strong and you have the ability to heal any issues that are there for you if you felt for some reason that you've doubted the qualities that you possess any of the magical qualities you possess you know, you, you're going to move this out uh, somehow over January. You can focus on and you can ask for divine guidance and help to reinstall your self-worth and your self-confidence because there may have been a period there where for some reason you, you have undervalued yourself and you just need to know that you are perfect the way you are, that you have, you're a beautiful being of light and love and you have so much to offer and just look at it here gorgeous universal white energy and support and all your chakras coming in and being balanced so that's a nice positive backup energy for you Sagittarius let's do the one final card the high vibrational energy card and see what comes for you Intuition, Raziel, that's a beautiful card. I don't believe that's come out before. I just said in the last card that you would you were getting um, chakra balancing for your body. A whole bunch of um, chakra healing energy is what I felt coming in for you was the message I was being given. And lo and behold, what's here? All of the chakras being definitely being opened and balanced for you. So bringing some sort of balance back in. <laughs> Gosh, isn't that funny? Because we talked about balance so much in the in the rest of the reading. Yeah, you're getting some healing, which is really nice. Um, and your body's going to be brought back into tune somehow. Yeah, I think you'll feel more energetic and more strength. Wow, it's really tying in. Um, trust your intuition. Listen to it. Um, go within. But look at all these amazing support energies coming in for you you're full of uh, help 
from many many sources that you haven't even thought about call on them because if there's anything that's been bothering you or upset you or, or left you feeling deflated or you know not feeling balanced it's in January is the time when you can hopefully um, wake into that and achieve it wow Sagittarius your reading's been really um, tied in together it's been really connected for you I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for listening I enjoy doing them if you want a private reading with me just follow the video link below and in the meantime I wish you much happy intuition and strength for January much peace to you Kia kaha.